Learning Kids Cloud. Hello friends. Today we are here to discuss about density. What is density? Like mass and volume, density is also a physical property of matter. Every matter has a unique density associated with it. To understand this, let's start with a simple experiment. You can also check this of your own. Take a bowl and add 500 ml of water. Then slowly add oil to this water. Gently stir the liquids and wait until they get stagnant. After a while, we get two visible layers. Why this is happening? When you add oil to water, two don't mix with each other. We can see the water layer at the bottom and oil layer at the top. Why does oil float on water and not water on oil? The reason is oil has less density than water. So it always floats on the surface of the water. Here is another example. Everyone must have seen floating balloons in the sky. Do all balloons float? The answer is no. The balloons containing helium can float as the density of helium is less than the air. In both these examples, we are using a term density. So what is this density? Density is a mass of a substance per unit volume. It is given by the equation density equals mass upon volume or small d equals small m upon v. Sometimes Greek letter rho or Latin d is used for density. SI unit for density is kilogram per cubic meter and CGS unit is gram per cubic centimeter. Let's try to understand the density in more detail. Suppose A and B are the two blocks of the same dimensions made up of different materials. If you weigh them, what do you think? Will they weigh the same? Let us assume A is made up of metal and B is made up of wood. Now which will weigh more? As the metal is more dense than ore, it will obviously weigh more. We can write the density equation for both as follows. Density of metal equals mass of metal divided by volume of metal. Similarly, density of ore equals mass of ore divided by volume of ore. As volume is same, density is directly proportional to mass of the respective block. Though the volume of both blocks is same, their density is different, so they will be differently. Obviously, metal has more density, it will be more. In another way, we can say that in case of metal, more mass is packed in unit volume, while in case of ore, less mass is packed in its unit volume. Therefore, we can say that how tightly atoms and molecules are packed in the unit volume of matter is called as density. Generally, solids are having more density as particles are packed together 
more densely in the unit volume. Liquids are also highly dense. Compared to solid, their density is little less. In liquids also, particles are close together in a unit volume. In gases, intermolecular forces are very low and particles are far apart in a unit volume. Hence, gases have a low density. In addition to the states of matter, the density also depends on the material. In chemistry, the density of a substance often expresses relative to the water. A denser substance will sink while less dense will float in water. With a simple experiment, it's easy to find out whether the substance is denser or less relative to water. Take a big bowl of water, select any object from your surrounding. Here we have taken a plastic bottle, wooden block, rock and coin. These are all solids. As solids are denser than liquid, all should sink in the water. Let's see what will happen. You will find that rock and coin will sink while plastic bottle and the wooden block will float irrespective of their volume. Thus, the metal coin and rock are denser than water while wood and plastic are less dense. It reveals that the density does not only depend on the states but also the material of a substance. So friends, here is a task for you. Calculate the volume of a piece of metal having a mass 600 gram and a density of 8 gram per cubic centimeter. Does ice float or sink in water? What is the meaning of population density? Thanks for watching this video. For more videos, please subscribe to this channel.